So we're going to come back to his question over there and think about in connection with gravity one last time. Keep in mind, it's important. Yes, we've talked a lot about comparing electricity to gravity in this class, but it's important to keep in mind that they are very, very different forces. You can have gravity without electricity. They're called neutrons. Can't have the other way. You cannot have electricity without gravity. But electricity is so much stronger that we tend to ignore gravity a lot of the time. So gravity, if you think back and recall, and we've actually already said this today, gravity, gravitational potential is your height above the ground. Which means whatever row of seats you are sitting in, everyone in the same row has the same gravitational potential, because you're all the same height above the ground. Each row is a different level of gravitational potential. But not each of you in that row has the same potential energy, because you have different m's. So we can think of gravi gravity, gravitational potential, we can think of lines of constant height. You're sitting in them. You're sitting in lines of constant height. We can draw gravitational equipotentials. You're sitting in them. Or if we wanted to make a, like a picture, here is a map of the island of Hawaii. And we can draw the lines of constant height. It's a, it's a topological map. It shows you how high above the ground each point is. These are lines of constant potential. And the field points down the hill. Imagine a, a, a bead of water. If you imagine a bead of water up here on Mauna Loa, it's going to kind of go down like that. If you imagine up here on Mauna Kea, And so I can draw these field lines. These are the, li the lines of force that, say, a droplet of water or a river would flow down. We can repeat for electricity. We can draw lines of constant potential. This is my positive charge. This is my negative charge. If we go and have a look at our potential as generated by point charges, the closer I get to a po the closer I get to a positive charge, V goes up. The closer I get to a negative charge, V gets more negative. And so from there, we can conclude that this has to be the positive one and this has to be the negative one. This has to be the negative one. So there's our lines of equal potential. There's our lines of equal potential. And just like with gravity, we can draw the field. And so now you can see, again, this is still emphasizing, it's just two different ways of looking at the same phenomenon. We can either think in terms of potentials and our situation in terms of energies, or we can think about fields and our situations in terms of forces. Two different sides of the same coin. And we see that the potential, just the field, just like in the gravity case, points downhill. 